the ASM artist. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It is I, the ASM artist, back. I don't know why I uh, presented myself as if I were a, a magician, but this time I did. It's because I have a smoke machine behind me. It just takes a second, don't worry. There's already a little bit of haze that'll rise up behind me. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. A little bit more interesting than just a black backdrop. Because I just went with the black backdrop today because I wanted to do an ASMR for ADHD, which I personally have. And I feel like I've been meaning to make a video like this for a long time. So it's just going to be a variety of things specifically to reel in your mind. You know, sometimes it gets going on a tangent that you don't really want it to. So, and it's like... When you have ADHD and you're not being able to pay attention to what you need to be able to pay, pay attention to, um, you're not doing it on purpose. You just like constantly keep finding yourself drifting off. Just like that distracted me the smoke machine making a sound real quick. So for whatever reason, ASMR is just one of those things that uh, helps out and is able to I'm able to just listen to it instead of like music is really distracting to me if I'm like trying to study or write an essay or something, but ASMR, I just, I'm able to completely not focus on it and get whatever I'm trying to do, get it done. So this video is meant to help you with that. I have to move the microphone down here a little bit so I can get more evenly in both ears. I figured out. I'm never able to get this to sound the way I want it to. Like even in this video, like I have a couple, there's like some background noise I can't really help, but uh, this is the power of ASMR. Hopefully you'll be able to focus on the ASMR or whatever you're trying to focus on that the ASMR is helping you focus on. And I'll just continue, continue speaking nonsense that you can continue to ignore. <laughs> and I can pop all these through. We shouldn't have any autofocusing issues today because I'm using one of my newest and best autofocusing lenses. That looks so cool. <laughs> and um, and I had this lens stopped down to f5.6, so everything should be in focus, but it doesn't really matter because I have this lovely black backdrop. So I'm not trying to separate myself from the background, but using a wide aperture. So I have like really bright lights today, unlike what I usually have, so I can have a, a deeper depth of field and it's not gonna focus between me and the microphone. There's not a lot of options for the camera to focus on in this scene, so it should get it right. But the little pillow here makes good sounds. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is the problem that happens when you do too much smoke in the smoke machine. It gets out in front of me and it gets between me and the camera. And then I don't look sharp anymore. I look all hazy. Just went that behind me and maybe I went a little too overboard. As long as it doesn't get up in the fire alarm. I don't know if I saved it, but there was this really funny video. <laughs> I was working on a video uh, for a bottle of vodka, I think it was, or a bottle of gin, and I was doing like an ad for it, and I was using the smoke machine, and I had it set up, so instead of like, I have it on the floor now, shooting behind me, and it hits the backdrop and kind of goes up, but I just had the smoke machine pointing upward, so it would shoot straight into the air, because I wanted it to be like shooting out from behind the bottle of gin, and uh, it just shot right up directly into the fire alarm. <laughs> And then, uh, so the camera was on like a motorized track, just like moving forward for the shot. And then like it continued to move and the video continued to record. And it's just me frantically like running behind the bottle of vodka that is, is the scene. And I'm like trying to get the fire alarm off. It's just really funny. 
but I, I of course I think I don't I didn't even keep it which really sucks that I would uh, I wish I kept more footage I keep I, I am in a, a lot better of a habit now of actually keeping a lot of anything I I film and spend a significant amount of time on been a while since I've recorded a video. I know they've been a lot fewer and farther between lately, but I'm still keeping up with the channel, don't worry. Um, I just have a lot <laughs> going on in my life and a lot of things I'm trying to work on. One thing I'll share with you guys is, um, <clears throat> as you know, I do photo and, and video as like a business outside of this ASMR channel. That's how I actually make my money. This doesn't make that, a lot, that much money. <laughs> And, uh, so there's a, a thing near me where it's, I'm not going to say the specific name, but basically for my area in like all across Pennsylvania, I guess the state has been putting these things called like whatever the location is launch box. And, uh, basically what they are is a way through a selection process where the government is giving out grant money to small businesses trying to do something. So this is affiliated with my college specifically. And um, so I'm gonna like pitch my my business and try to, uh, you know, build like a business model and a way of scaling the business and growing it. And if I, uh, if like my pitch is one of the, the better pitches out of, who all they hear this launch box location and uh they'll, they'll give me ten thousand dollars for for my business which would be a huge really good start and the thing i'm signing up for this would be granting me that money coming right out of graduating from college so that would be absolutely perfect so sorry move this up so that is kind of something i've been thinking about a lot and working on so Sorry for a little bit more of an absence. And one more thing of fog. Easily, the light very quickly falls off when I move back from it just because of the light modifier I'm using. But this was the part of the inspiration for getting the smoke machine, which that looks so cool when it's initially like coming up there. By the way, I'm working on my website. By the time the next video comes out, I'll probably have it done. But I did a really cool photo using the smoke machine to be the landing photo for my website, the landing page photo. So uh, I'll share that guy that with you guys whenever it's ready. And that website will have like my professional portfolio of photography and videography stuff that I do and have done. So you can see the best of my work, if that's something you want to see. In the works coming very soon. This video has kind of soothed your ADHD and is able to direct your mind to where you want it to go rather than where it's deciding to go. I know that feeling all too well, so trust me, believe me. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate your support, your continued support, even when I'm not posting as much. Just, uh, it's really cool that you guys actually care about me and will come back continuously and care about what I do. And actually, a lot of you guys make up probably the majority of people who are subscribed to my other channel and follow my actual photography work on Instagram and stuff. Matt Jacobs Photo Video. Subtle, not so subtle plug. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys for genuinely, as an audience, being there for me because that is... I've talked about this before 
I've always like wanted to have a YouTube channel and it's, it's a cool to even like we are in the relative scheme of things a smaller audience and community but I appreciate you guys nonetheless thank you so much for your support and uh it genuinely means a lot that I can put out something to the world and know that some people are going to care about it at least that means a lot to me more than I could probably express in words. So thank you for your support. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. I never really say subscribe, do I? I don't think so. I always just say leave a like and comment, but do subscribe, especially if you've been watching and aren't subscribed. It actually does help. We're really close to 5,000 subscribers. I was going to try to do a subscriber special where I did ASMR with subscribers, but no one seemed to uh, submit <laughs> to that. So I'll come up with some other kind of uh, special. Maybe we'll do like a special live stream or something that goes for like at least two hours and it could be really interactive and uh, like a Q&A or something. So let me know if that sounds fun. Give me any other ideas. Maybe we can do a bunch of different ideas within the 5k live stream that's pretty cool comment those ideas down below that's all i gotta say guys i hope to see you in the next one goodbye